Look at all of these toys, man. That's wild. <laughs> What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to another episode of Retro Hunting. So the majority of the collection that you guys are seeing behind me, I have primarily gotten at secondhand stores like garage sales, flea markets, thrift stores. I absolutely love collecting all of these nostalgic childhood pieces of my past, but it's not fun to me to just jump online and to get on eBay and buy it. I like to find the stuff out in the wild, and today we are at Hyper Space Toys. This is my last video um, for my recent vacation. I'm out there hunting with my boy Dan um, from the Retro World TV. Great game hunting channel if you have not seen it yet. Go check it out, but we've been game hunting for a while. He said, man, I gotta show you uh, a really cool toy store. I know you love 80s and 90s nostalgia, and there's a there's a toy store called Hyper Space Toys that is incredible. They got games, they got toys, and we find a ton, uh, even a holy grail piece. So I'm excited to get into it today. But before we do, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, everything from retro video games, movies, toys, and more, do me a favor and hit that friggin' subscribe button. Guys, every single Monday and Thursday, we do not miss uh, we're coming out with new retro nostalgic content, and I don't want you guys to miss it. Let's get into it. All right, y'all. You're at Hyper Space Toys. Toys, video games, comics. Dan said this place is good. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. It's, okay, it's a cool spot for sure. Well, I'm hoping to find hoping to find some toys. I have not found any on this trip yet, so we'll see. Oh, GI Joe. Look at that. This place is awesome. Oh, look at these. These are cool. These big posters. We can do it. Yeah. You know, we've always been stuff processed. This is awesome. Look at all the toys. I just saw one that I'm already interested in. Look, Final Fantasy Seven. That's so Oh, sick. wow. That's really cool. Oh, hey, my bad. I like uh, the Earthworm Jim figure up here. Princess, what's her name? Dude, I love me some Earthworm Jim. <laughs> The new game is coming out on the Intellivision Amico. Have you seen yeah. that? Really, the only reason why I'm interested in that console is because of that game. Oh, wow. I like that bison. Ooh. That's so cool. It is cool. Not a, good, like, not a bad price. Ten bucks. No? I'm definitely going to pick up some toys. These are cool, too. These old, like, cases. Look at that. Oh, that one's awesome. That's actually really cool. Oh, dude, I've never even seen this. Is it? Oh, it's an actual... It actually works. Yeah. It's a little Lego Mario thing. So sick. You see this? This Turok figure? How do you usually come across some of these older toys and stuff? They get brought into you? Yes, most everything I have is stuff that people bring in to trade or sell. Okay, nice. He's got all the Genesis stacked, one, two, and three. I'm always interested in these like uh, third party N64 controllers. I don't know why. I just have always been into like seeing the weird ones. <coughs> Look at these battle toads. Like, what is that? I don't know. I've never seen Is this, this a battle toad? Battle toads? Belt buckle? That's so sick. That's yeah. cool. Ever seen that? Here are a ton of SNES games. Dino City. Kind of one you don't see too often. I've been on the hunt lately for like some of the, uh, I wouldn't say filler uh, NES stuff, but like ones you don't see too often. Yeah. Like what is this? Defender of the Crown. I don't see that one very often. Okay, here are some Genesis games. I actually need this. It's a little damage at the top, Sonic Spinball, but I'm probably gonna get this. This is really cool. I've been looking for this game specifically boxed. So, I'm gonna pick up that. The Lost Vikings I'm interested in getting. Probably pick up this one too. Don't see a lot of Genesis stuff boxed very often. Super Street Fighter 2, I don't have boxed. This one's a little, is that on the case? I think that's on the case. 
feels like it's complete. Finding some Genesis stuff, man. It's kind of sad after completing the N64 stuff. I don't, I don't get to look at it anymore. So I'm like, I don't really need to look at it. I have it. All right, here are some of the better SNES games. We got Super Double Dragon. I don't have that. These are, uh, these are some of the better NES games. Super C, Punch Out, Mega Man 2 and 3. That's actually pretty fairly priced on those. Two for 22 and Mega Man 3 for 15. PSP games, kind of hard to find nowadays. Got the Simpsons game, Crash Tag Team. Don't think I'm gonna get any of those though. And then a bunch of Game Boy games. GBA games. What? Sports Illustrated for kids? <laughs> I might get that just because it's weird. Dude, I was a huge Sports Illustrated for kids. Kid back in the day. There's a game. I don't even know what it is, but yeah. I mean, there's some good stuff up there. I'm just not really on the hunt for PSP stuff right now. What we got in here? A ton of PS1 games. Guys, check it out. Austin Powers Pinball. Why in the world does this exist? <laughs> yeah, baby! Yeah! Groovy, baby! That it's is amazing. hilarious. <laughs> That's like one of the weird things I would buy. <laughs> so many PS2 games. You collect a lot of PS2? Yeah, I don't know how, but they just end up at the Well, PS2 you do see a lot at like Goodwill. In different thrift stores and stuff. Yeah, I'm just drawn to them for whatever. Like, I got two in my hands right now. What you got? I'm like, we got Kessin, Ark the Lad. I picked this up recently, but it wasn't complete. Six and seven, they're not bad prices. So. Yeah. Here's a Game Genie code book that I've never seen before. I've never seen this one before. It's kind of cool. Oh, man. I actually have one of these, too. The old Nintendo NES oh, cart yeah, holder. Dude, those are awesome. They're pretty sweet. Whoa, what is this? No, I love stuff like this. The Tyco power plug. Hey, is your gameplay not cutting? Add this power plug. Plug more power into your controller, okay? Power plug stuffs up to 17 moves into one controller button. Push the button, feel the power. Power plug, take control. <laughs> it's never been opened. Stop it. Oh, nice, dude. This is like exactly the kind of stuff that I like to this, collect. This, like even even like the lunch boxes, like this is cool. This looks like it's oh, that's newer awesome. though. Yeah. It's newer. All right, definitely gonna have to get the power plug sealed. What year is this thing? 1993. Ah, uh, see, I would get this NES Max, but it's a little busted out for me. Look at this guy. He loves playing his Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna set this stuff up here with you for now. Yeah. Got some Pokemon cards. Mm -hmm. Blastoise error. Hmm. You know what the error is on that one by chance? No, but John. John? Yeah, yeah, no worries. That's cool. Wow. Those are awesome. Bunch of transformers. G1. A thousand bucks, Dan. For what? For that Fortress Maximus. It's complete. Yeah, it looks like sure it that's is. A good deal All the stickers look great on it. Oh no. He'll take one of each. No. <laughs> I do collect, I, I collect, that's a little before my time. I collect like late 80s, early 90s right. stuff. Yeah. Oh wow. I didn't even see all this stuff over here. Look at these magnets for three bucks. Got a Wayne's World one, which is really cool. I like that ET cereal one. Four for 10. Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to get some of these magnets. Uh oh. So cool. The mask. That's so cool. I actually have that, but not in that, uh, the red, yeah, the red shirt. All right, so I'm gonna look at these. Look at this, guys. That is so cool. Wayne's World Magnet, gonna get this one. Gonna get, gonna get the ET cereal and the Gremlins one. Oh, there's a Goonies one. I love these, dude. Yeah. Ah! All right, so I just got these. I think, I like the Goonies one. For some reason, that cover isn't speaking to me as much as these. Uh, these Ghostbusters ones are cool. Maybe on that one. All right, we got some Indiana Jones. I need me a Back to the Future one. 
I don't see one so far. Joe Dirt, y'all, one of the funniest movies. What is this thing, man? Yeah, jam that in the gas bucket. Go shoot fireballs at it. It's gonna be fun. I'm gonna get one more. Jurassic Park one is pretty cool. Dude, wait. A dollar, a dollar each. I'm gonna have to look through those. Back off of those, man. You don't need those. <laughs> Where are you getting all the you don't, you don't collect toys? Some, sometimes. No, no, I don't think so. Let's see, all right. I think I'm gonna get this one just because it just really pops, even though I like this one too. I'm gonna get this one. All right, let's look down here. I'll let you get what you want, whatever. Thanks, bud. <laughs> so these are two for five, one for three. I actually found that recently. He's pretty cool. Looks like all the good ones are out of this one. I'm not interested in any of these. Yeah, those same ones you'd probably want to, huh? <laughs> uh, I'm good on him, but those two are cool. Yeah. I like this. This one is just kind of like, why not if it's a dollar? A know? buck each, y'all. Yeah, they're missing belts, but I guess that's okay. All right, let's see what's in here. You're asking about the error line. Yeah, what's what's the error on it? I guess. It's called a stage error. Okay. In the upper right hand. Oh corner, yeah yeah yeah. It should say put blast toys on the stage one card. Okay. And uh, the word stage is missing. Gotcha. There's an identical card here that's not an error that has the word stage on it. Gotcha. Cool. Thanks, man. All right, I gotta look through all of these figures, man. Oh. Uh, yeah, I love all this stuff. I just gotta be careful. I just don't have a lot of space. So I'm like into Dragon Ball Z, none. Yeah, okay. Like I've so never. Well, let's uh, skip that section. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's really cool. Look at all these up here, boxed. I love these cases. I know this is kind of like the standard in the toy world. Oh, look at these glasses. Those are sick. ET glasses. I don't have any of the ET ones. No, I've seen I've seen them. Some of the other. But there's just have never been. Got a little creature. Price range for me. All right, let me skip over here. Oh, here's a. Just stickers, two for a dollar, and they look like that. Pretty nifty. All right, here's a bunch of cards. We got Alien, James Bond, Alf cards. Can't go wrong there. There's some of those turtle cards. I've actually never, I've never picked up any of those. Wow. Look at all of these toys, man. That is wild. Jeez Louise. All right, all right, here we go. We got some My Little Ponies. Look at the little ones, 35 for a pair. Yeah, I bet there's some serious money there. I have the Mikey Pizza Shooter. These are cool. Oh, I gotta get that Bebop. I gotta get him. Yeah, you need him with that Mikey. Man, so sick. I, love the I could just look at this stuff all day. That Splinter, that's pretty cool. There's the Firefighter TMNTs. I think, well, I guess that one's a little different right there. Power Ranger toys too. So my son is all about some Power Ranger stuff right now. What he really wants is the Ultra Zord, which I can't afford. But look at this. Wow. Electronics not working. Oh man. You know what your low is on the Titanus? The electronics aren't working, it says. What do I have on it? 125. I could probably knock 10% off at that. Okay, sure. But I like it. Yeah, it looks cool in here too. I get it. Oh my gosh, look at that Voltron, dude. Oh, it's so cool. Y'all, I just want to stare at this stuff. Tiger Zord, incomplete. So cool looking. That Goldar is cool. I can't come to stores like this. I just want so much of it. <laughs> yeah. There's more. There's more. It just keeps going, man. It just keeps it's going. Like oh, wow. It's these are cool. Stuff you just don't really see too often. Three for 12. No, you never see these. Look at these Legend of Zelda ones. Mortal Kombat, too. You got Raiden up there. These are hard. I mean, these would be hard to display, though. Oh, uh, yeah. You'd have to have, like, some, maybe something like this. Yeah. yeah. All right. Here's a good old Teddy Ruxpin. All right, and I see a lunchbox down here that I really want already. Oh my gosh, look at this. DuckTales, man. So sick. 
If it had the thermos, but I still kind of want it. It's really, really clean. Man, that's a beautiful display piece right there. Oh, mercy. I'm definitely gonna get the Bebop. He's 15. Of course there is. <laughs> of course there's more turtle stuff. And Austin Powers. Cool oh yeah, it is, it is cool. Definitely newer, but still looks yeah. pretty cool. 2012. And then there's good old Austin Powers uh, figures, because why not? What is this? Look at this. Oh, yeah. I that was Simpsons, cool. some kind of game. Sound matching game. They Don't tell me it works. So no. stuff, I, like. I know. Is there more? Oh, DVDs and stuff, too. Oh. Wow. Is this a bunch like Marvel and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, these are really cool. I wonder what, because I know a lot of people that collect this stuff. You keep it sealed. I guess you just like maybe put pegs on the wall or something yeah. like that. And y'all tell us down below how you guys display your, you know, inbox sealed toys. I'm still very new to the toy collecting scene, but getting more and more into it. Bunch of movies. That Star Wars. Can you, can you grab that Ewoks Star Wars movie? Maybe. Oh. VHS. Oh, that's cool. I know. I've never seen it. I've never seen that. That's just cool because I've never seen it. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to pick this up. Only VHS, I think, that's in here. I'm not, I'm gonna, and I'm going to buy it. You're getting it. <laughs> a ton of movies. I don't really need any DVDs, but... All right, I'm going to keep looking around. I might grab a couple more things. Okay. So, as crazy as this sounds, I'm thinking about... I'm thinking about this guy. Just because y'all, my son, would lose it. And it would be a cool piece to have in the collection. Ah, and that like completes the Ultra Zord, right? You said you have Megazord and you have Dragonzord? I have Megazord and Dragonzord, yes. Yes. That will complete your Ultra Zord, yes. <laughs> Maybe that comes back, goes pops back on. Dude, he's so cool. You're talking about like a 15 pound toy with all that. <laughs> oh yeah, and my son's just, yeah, that's, that's and then my son's just gonna break him. That's the vintage Ultra Zord. So you said 10% off. That's like 112. <laughs> My son would lose it if I bought it, dude. I might have, maybe I, maybe I put some stuff back and get this. Oh, wow. Decisions, I can tell you're like, your process. Well, dude, my son, he just yeah. wants it so bad. He, he, he would love it, but at the same time, like, he's gonna, bre he's gonna break it. <laughs> and the, uh, the two parts to the tail mm -hmm. um, are in front of him along with the uh, chest piece. Okay. Guys, we've been having a lot of luck at toy stores lately. Uh, toy Federation a couple weeks ago and now Hyperspace Toys. A great toy store if you're in the area and video game store. Uh, if you're in the area, I highly suggest going uh, and checking it out. But let's get into these pickups. The first one is this Ewoks VHS. Now I am a sucker for any of the old 80s and 90s VHS cartoons. Um, and I had never seen this one before, and I thought it looked really rad. Look at the front cover, the artwork. Now, I by no means am like a Star Wars expert or anything like that, but maybe um, I'm gonna check this out and maybe it'll deepen my love uh, for Star Wars and Ewok, I have no idea. You guys tell me down below if this is any good. Definitely a cool uh, shelf piece, but happy to pick this up. So let's get into a couple video game pickups. Now, uh, they did have a ton of video games at the store, but I didn't really wanna like deep dive into all the video games and buy a bunch more because I had already gotten some uh, at that previous store uh, and I got so many when we were out, you know, thrifting at the pawn shops and stuff. So, uh, but I did pick up one game and that is The Lost Vikings. Now this game is pretty nostalgic for me, guys. I grew up playing this. I grew up running this game back in the day and I, I don't have it. I've been looking for it for a while. Um, and I think at one point I saw I saw one at a game store, but it was loose. Especially with Genesis games, guys, I want to get the box. So uh, not like the cleanest copy in the world. I'm going to uh, change out this case. You can see it looks like a dog ate it, but overall it's not too bad. 16 bucks for this uh, and the cart looks the cart looks decent. So uh, $16 for that was not bad. There's actually a Lost Vikings 2 as well. And then we got this. Now, I, I don't know why I am so drawn to stuff like this, but this is a inbox uh, Tyco power plug. So this turns your uh, your controller into like turbo and you can do all kinds of different things. Features thrash, auto fire, that's another big thing. Turbo, power steering. So I don't know why. I don't know why I love these so much. I think it's probably the box. You got like the lightning coming off the box. And then this kid is enjoying it thoroughly back there. And then also, 
it's sealed. Like this has never been opened before. Uh, I don't see these little power plug adapters very often, let alone in the box and sealed. So for 20 bucks, uh, I thought that was a, a pretty good deal. He, he actually gave us a deal too at the, end, at the end of the video. But these were our only two video game pickups uh, at the toy store, but obviously really, really cool to get these. Next up are our toy pickups. And guys, the first one is so rad. It is a Bebop. Now I love Bebop and Rocksteady. They're my favorite my, my favorite bad dudes on TMNT back in the day. I actually recently just got uh, the Rocksteady helicopter. It's sealed, it's gonna stay sealed. I can't open that up, but I do I do finally have a Bebop. I do need to buy though a Rocksteady as well and put them uh, next to each other. He's got his cool skeleton necklace, which is pretty rad. He's in really great shape too. So uh, glad to finally, finally get a Bebop. And then lastly is our Holy Grail toy. Guys, it is Titanus. Now I've talked about this in previous videos. If you follow me on Instagram, if you don't follow me on Instagram, go check it out, retro underscore Rick. Um, but my son is obsessed with the Power Rangers right now. I found uh, all the Dinozords at a Goodwill in a previous $10 game collection episode. Uh, and he has been playing with those nonstop. He has formed uh, Megazord and then it also had the Dragonzord with it too. Um, but he's been watching YouTube videos of basically people putting together the entire Ultra Zord, and he has wanted this so bad. I'm, I'm telling you, for months he has wanted this thing. But do you know how much these freaking go for? If you get Titanus uh, and the Megazord, Dragon Zord, all of it together, it's like four to five hundred dollars. It is crazy. So I have just kind of told him, "Hey, bud, I don't think we're gonna get one. Let's just watch it on TV." because they're so freaking expensive. But here at this toy store, they had one and uh, so it doesn't work. So I think I think he had, I can't remember now, 125? I think he had 125 on this. Working, they sell for like two to 300. But I think it's just like a simple fix. I don't think it's too hard to fix these. He said maybe just a little soldering and it could be working, but he didn't want to mess with it. But we ended up getting this for like 110, 112, something like that. Uh, and that is a great deal. My son lost it whenever I showed him this, but I'm gonna show you guys um, some B-roll. What do you think it is? <laughs> what is it? Ultra Zord! Look, and this is where Megazord goes in. Isn't this awesome? Everything together, the whole Megazord, Dragon Zord, all of it put together, it is a serious thing. now. The mechanics on this is it just like barely moves really slowly. Like that's that's all it does. It doesn't do much other than that. But definitely a, a holy grail piece, especially for Power Ranger fans. Uh, I guess apparently this chain is one of the hardest parts to get. They're, they're, they're usually always gone or, or missing, but really cool to get that. Guys, video games, video games and toys, all of my favorite things. You guys tell me down below, what was your favorite thing that I found or that, that we just saw at the toy store? As always, thank you for hanging out, for watching the video. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you have not already. Until next time, peace.